The back end of scope is pretty straightforward. There's two lambda functions, a couple more if you don't count the setup and what have you. There's two functions. The main one is a GitHub webhook listener. So the GitHub webhook listener looks like this uh, in a given GitHub repository, either the serverless one or if you choose to use scope for your project. If a user you know, comments on an issue or submits a new pull request or comments on a pull request, that triggers the GitHub webhook. That then goes into API Gateway, routes it to our Lambda function. That Lambda function then stores it in our DynamoDB table. Super straightforward, and you'll notice here that everything is a push event. So this only runs when activity actually happens in your repository. So that way, we really only run Lambda at a really bare minimum, for sure under the free tier. And we can save all those items in our DynamoDB table for the UI to access. Let's go ahead and look over at what the UI is using for its backend API. The API on the front end, very straightforward as well. Basically, we have a user that comes in to view our status page, whether that's like the self-hosted app or if you've decided to embed it into our site which is what we're doing on serverless.com. Um, the user comes to the page, an AJAX request goes and makes a request through API Gateway, triggers a Lambda function, that Lambda function goes and queries the DynamoDB table, and then that basically passes all those items back to the UI, and the UI puts them in the appropriate columns based off the label. So it's really as simple as that um, with our service. And one of the reasons that uh, I decided to use DynamoDB other than for demonstrative purposes is because uh, with the GitHub API, you can run into rate limits if you're hitting the, their API uh, more than a certain amount. So instead, what we wanted to do was like have a very bare bones minimum push-based system where we're getting all those issues, those updated open issues and PRs from GitHub and populating them into a Dynamo table that just sits there waiting for our user to come in, trigger that through our React app, go and get them, instead of having to go make that API call to GitHub uh, and we'll have to worry about rate limits and what have you, um, we're pulling it really quickly back from Dynamo. And Dynamo, for those that don't know, is the NoSQL uh, answer from AWS.